grab that zombie flesh. We're gonna have so much zombie flesh, it's it's scary. I'll grab that. And there we go. So this is all gonna be turned into leather. Isn't that swell? Right down here is our spiders. Nothing in there, but we have all this string. And all this string. And then we'll come over here to the skeleton spawner. Yep, look at all the arrows and bones we have here. Nothing there. Oh, and it looks like we're full up down here. Ah, we're still getting stuff in. A lot of arrows. Nothing up there, so... Um, let's go ahead and grab some arrows out of here. There we go. That should be more than enough. Um, I don't think we're ever going to run out of arrows. There we go. We can put those over here. Shiboinga. And I realize that we do not need all those uh, hoppers here. We only need the two here on the end. So we'll grab that guy and put him into that one. Same thing with this dude here. We don't need super efficiency to come out of this. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take this out. There we go. And use our big guy. I could go through and fill that all up, but I don't really care too much right now. We'll get to that. Um, I wanted to come down and check. Yep, that one's right. And I am going to assume that this one's right as well. It is. So there we go. Um, we have a pretty decent setup down there for collecting drops. Um, and up we go right over here. Get the ore berries. You sleep. And, uh, we need to do some planning. There we go. First things first, we'll throw the ore berries. One, two, three, four, all in there. It's not going to take long for them to be turned into nuggets. Oh. <laughs> we'll eat something ourselves. Got a couple of creepers. And we've got more than enough juice to take care of them. Let's come over here. Where did I see the creeper? Right there. And... When he fell, did he drop anything? Yeah, he dropped some gunpowder. I think the other one despawned. Am I right or am I right? Yeah, he did. Nope. He's right down here. Oh, I don't see him now. So, c'est la vie. I'll turn that off. And we'll go up here and... Continue with what we've done. And I forgot I had all this glass in here. I was worried about glass. 
So what I do is I just go ahead and throw these up here. And I will grab the other nuggets like that. Okay, I think I've got all the nuggets. Okay, that's eight. Not enough. It's one. There we go. Four is not enough. Three. There we are. We've got it all. Put those back in there. And then... Salt. Okay. Well... One of the things that I think we're missing, we need to get some potions going. Because uh, we're going to need them for the nether. Um, excuse me. I, uh. Oh, and I'm going to show you this guy here. Um, say you have something you don't want. Say, like, you don't want this stack of dirt. Come up here. Throw it up there. Well, it's not doing anything. Because this hopper is turned off with this switch. When we turn it on, you see stuff is draining out. See dirt here. We open this up. You see void chest. Well, this void chest is set up to destroy anything that goes into it. So I set up um, a bin of sorts to make sure that we turn it off every time we use it and we don't have to worry about accidentally throwing like oh my force wrench is up there you know that kind of thing also I went through and I pulled out all the duplicates of these uh, patterns so when we go to the uh, oh. <laughs> when we go over here to the part builder we only need these, but these are pretty much done since we have all the molds over in here. Um, we also have this guy here for doing our repairs and everything. So, as you can see, we're getting really, really, really um, short on space. I mean, we have some space here and there. But for the most part, we're going to have a lot of issues, a lot of issues, uh, coming up with not enough space anywhere, especially if I do more AFKs. Um, I mean, I don't think we're going to have any problems with any of the resources here, um, but I can guarantee you that... Next thing you know, all this space is going to go away. And uh, we'll be stuck with uh, scrambling for making more chests. So there are a couple of things that we can do. As you can see, this is already full up with armor. It's the non-stackable things like armor that really get you. So let me put this away. Er, there we are. Um, we need a sorting system. We need a storage system. I was going to put storage down here, but I prefer to have this set up as my mine, um, my base of operation. So come down here. Nope, that's not where it is. Here it is. Um, you can see in the map. There we go. Let's zoom in that turn off the map oh they're up there okay um we probably have a, a slime chunk here well you can see in the map that I've dug really long tunnels and I keep running into lava well, that's fine that's fine 
We've got an abandoned mine shaft over to the left, to the right there. We've got uh, another one to the right, to the left and to the right. There you go. Um, and we've got a lot, a lot of lava pools uh, to the north and to the south of us. I am not sure what that one space up in the upper right corner is. Maybe we should uh, take a look sometime. But for the most part, um, there are a lot of resources to be had and a lot of spawners to be found in this area. We'll figure out where they are. Um, but there's a lot of mining that we can do down here to get as much as we need. Not to mention we can come down straight to bedrock. It looks like uh, there's, it's flat bedrock all the way down. And torches don't matter when you've got void fog. So let's see what happens. Let's video settings, particles, minimal. Nope, void fog is still there. Is there a way to turn off the void fog? Hmm, let's try putting it on fan on fast. Nope. Ooh, that's even worse. So Optifine I think gets rid of that. I'm trying to see. Alright, done. No, uh, we need Optifine for it. So, <laughs> where the heck is he? Right up here. Whoop. That's annoying enough for me to leave. And we're going to have to make sure that we have a ladder all the way down because it's going to become a pain in the butt if uh, we uh, lose our flight capability <laughs> um, when we're down there. Um, so basically, this room is becoming a mess. A huge, huge mess. Look at it. We've got power and water systems and everything everywhere. Um, we've got lots and lots and lots of coal and force gems. We need to get into more dark craft stuff. Um, I've been putting wooden items in the generator to get rid of them. And that was just way, way, way too much. Um, we need to get upgrades to our equipment so that we can process things faster. We need to get compressors. Everything so we can get better armors. It's just crazy how much stuff there is we have to do. Oh, look at all that leather. Uh, it's not all going to fit in there. And why I took it, I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and put some of it in there. Oh, it all fit. Okay. Pfft. That's a lot of leather. Now we need leather for things like linking books and notebooks and stuff like that for mistcraft. And I'm going to go ahead and throw the infinity enchantment that we have here. Is it flame? Fire aspect is for weapons, I think. Power... There we go. Let's see how that works. Here we go. Bow goes up here. We're going to throw infinity. For six. Now putting anything on there. It's here. Oh. Alright, that's not going to work. So we need to get some XP built up. But now we have an infinity bow. 
that should help us. Uh, it goes up here. In the long run, there we go. Put this guy right back down here. And we'll hit the hay. Not to mention, we have to do a lot more exploring and get to know the world better. One thing I would like to do is... Find this creeper that's over here. I think he's on the other side of this hill here. Oh, right there. Oh, my space bar got stuck. That was odd. It's the first time that's happened. <laughs> so we didn't get anything from that guy except for a couple of dings of XP. Well, at least these bushes over here will give us enough XP. Um, in the long run, at least a constant source. I could probably turn the towers into XP grinders, but yeah, I don't really care to do that. Um, one thing I'd like to do is see if I can set up a blaze farm here using turtles. Now, turtles can attack for you and everything, and they can pick up the drops. So if you have a way to generate blazes, then there's a way for you to uh, um, collect their drops. A way to trap them. Um, and this is an extra skeleton spawner that I had picked up. There we go. We'll have to see what to do next. Uh, I think, though, first priority is... Take a look. Yeah, we don't want to go running too far away. Let's go get this guy um, charged up. Jetpack, that is. I think one of the first things we have to do is address our space issues. So, if I did this properly, which I certainly hope I did, power is being generated here. Excuse me, this guy here is getting the lion's share from up there. So we have these three dudes in parallel still. Ugh, it's going to be a mess. Have to figure out how to get this done right. And, uh,. We also need to figure out Wow. So the generator kicked off and so did the geothermal when I moved this dude. Why? There's nothing running. I think I need to get the other wrench tools right here. There we go. We hold shift and right click. And that should be getting power. Okay. Because so I think the dot is where the power goes. I have to re recheck that out. Well, not recheck that out, but I've got to figure that out again. Uh, there we go. 
Grab all the glass and the bricks. Those are finally empty. 